Jarvis behind the line. Three, two, one, go. Into the and thus begins the qualification rounds. Team 4 Elements scoring their match preloads. Citrus Circuits grabbing two more. And a third. Can they get it done in the last two seconds? They do. And the Blue Alliance was able to get... They were able to get their preloads in during autonomous mode. But the Red Alliance scored 83 points. And they have the advantage. There is the, the Graybots and Citrus Circuits assaulting that upper power port. Graybots picking up some more power cells from the field. Meanwhile, over on the Blue Alliance sector, we got Team 4 trying to play some hard defense. They've got their deflector shields up, but it might not be enough because there's the Hawaiian kids and the Friar box scoring in the upper port for the Blue Alliance. But here comes Citrus Circuits answering back quickly, and the Gray box 138 to 68 with 71 seconds left. Eagle Robotics pushing the Gray bots around, trying to prevent them from scoring, but it doesn't work. There are some more power cells into the top. Hawaiian kids get two out of four into the top power point for the Blue Alliance. 148 to 76. It's now 162 to 76. 43 seconds left. Briar bots picking up some power cells from their Blue Alliance player station. They're gonna get them into the power point. Oh, one misfires. Here come the Hawaiian kids. That klaxon means it's time to activate the shield. In the elimination rounds, a level switch does not grant you any additional ranking points. It's 182 to 80. With seven seconds left, six. Five, there go the Graybots, there go Citrus Circuits. Fours are in, it's the Red Alliance. With a score of 247 to 114. The Red Alliance takes the first match.